Hi, it's me, Mom Shalyn, your pre-calculus teacher for this semester. This is a quick video tutorial of how to use Desmos. I am using my Desmos on my browser, but you could also use the same method when you are using your Desmos on your phone. Okay, first up is how to use Desmos in graphing circles. All you have to do is to type the standard form of equation. Let's say our circle is x minus 4 raised to 2 or squared plus a y minus 3 quantity squared equals 7. There is our circle. And then to be able to label the center from our standard form of equation, you identify the center. In this case, you just type in the coordinates for 3. And we now have our center here. Check the label. Sabi nga nila. Check the label and type in center. That's how you do it for circles. Next up, how would you do your parabola? Again, you just type in the equation that you have. Let's say our equation is y squared equals 16x. And this is now our parabola. You could zoom it out or zoom it in to be able to see the parts properly. Let me just fix that. Okay. If I would be getting the focus of my parabola, then the focus would be found here at point 4. We will just type in the coordinates of the focus. It's a parabola facing to the right. That means we have 4, 0 as our focus. Check the label and type in focus. Now that we have the measurement for the focus, we could have our directrix. For the directrix, you just get the reverse of our focus or, or the opposite sign and then also the opposite sign for our standard form of equation. That means our directrix now would be x is equal to negative 4. That is our directrix over there, the purple line. Of course, we have to modify the purple line such that it would be uh, stylized. All we have to do is to um, click this portion long enough so that the options will show and choose the dotted lines or the dashed line. And this is now the graph of your directrix. Let's say you want to label the directrix itself. Uh, one function is, one function of Desmos is that you cannot label the line itself or probably just haven't explored that. Update me if you were able to explore that function, okay? So what I would do here is to type in negative 4, 0 because that is one point on our directrix. I will check the label and type in directrix just so the word will show, the label will show, and then click this one so that the point will not show. See, we now have a parabola with the labeled parts. That's it. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoy learning.